Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, here I am again with the new video wherein I will be discussing about the TCS Ninja interview experience that happened today only that is on 22nd May 2025. Two Ninja interview experiences I will be discussing in this video. Make sure that you are watching this video till the end because in every video that I have made till now, I have tried to cover different different type of questions which are getting asked from you in the interviews. So from past two days regularly I am uploading the videos and this is the third video of the Ninja interview experience as well as digital interview experience also I have covered. Okay, I am trying to cover prime interview experience as well but currently I am not getting any interview experiences for prime role. So if you are giving interviews for any of these roles and you wish to uh, share your interview experience, you can always join our telegram group and contact me for sharing your interview experience with me on the telegram group okay so this is the link of the telegram group i will give you the link in the description box make sure to join it because lot of um, information is getting uh, delivered here okay so now let's start this video before starting the video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel and do watch this playlist wherein all of the previous interview experiences are also there in this particular playlist all the relevant links i will give you in the description box now let's start the video please hit that like and subscribe button for this channel okay so let's just start with the first tcs ninja interview experience so first question will remain same introduction include your education background your technical skills your projects your internships your achievements and extracurricular activities okay this will be enough for you to cover in your introduction part okay next question is write the code for sorting array using linked list now guys see yesterday also i made a video wherein i have clearly told that in tcs ninja interviews as well coding questions are getting asked okay i am not saying the complex coding question are getting asked but, but the basics one you should know so now uh, this is also ninja interview experience and the candidate was asked write the code for sorting array using linked list you don't have to do anything in this you just have to first from array you have to make a sorted linked list then again convert that sorted linked list into the array this is how you will sort an array so see first traverse the array insert each element into the sorted linked list this means while inserting each element place it in the correct position to keep the list sorted just like insertion sort so you have to perform an insertion sort on a linked list it's really easy you just have to see the code okay i hope this question is clear to you next question is what is an intersection in sql intersect is a sql set operation that returns only the common rows between two select queries both queries must have same number of columns with the same data types so see two different queries select employee id from employees intersect select employee id from project team so it will give you the common employee id from both of these queries okay i hope this is clear to you the common rows from two different queries is what intersect do i hope this question is clear to you next question is explain about the aggregate functions in sql so aggregate function in sql are generally used on the columns count that is return the number of rows sum that is calculate the total sum of a column average return the average value of that column maximum return the maximum value from that column minimum returns the minimum value from that column so this question was also asked in the tcs ninja interview i hope this is clear to you now guys before moving ahead as i have told you in previous videos also that on our top mid page of code bashers we have important intro it subject notes many of you do not know from where you should prepare because there are a lot of resources on the internet so through these notes what we have done we have analyzed lot of inter experiences and for every subject we have placed at least 20 to 25 important questions and their answers for each and every subject so in these particular notes all these subject mentioned here are uh, covered whether it is c++ uh, interview questions java interview questions python coding questions which are commonly asked in the interviews of tcs SQL queries were that are commonly asked. So all these subjects with at least 20 to 25 important questions from them are covered in these notes. Okay. So if I will show you of the sample of let's suppose the Python PDF. So in this you can see we have a proper question and we have a proper answer to it. How you have to tell in the interview. Similar for the Java also we have a proper question and the proper answer how you will have to answer in the interviews. For every subject mentioned here we have at least 20 to 25 important interview questions and their answers. So these notes can help you for your last minute preparation and for revising your concepts. If you are interested, the links are in the description box. Do check them out. We have a very good rating of around 4.3 out of 5. Many students got help from these notes only. Okay. So now let's continue in the video. We will move towards the next question is how can you detect 
whether java is installed in your system or not there is one simple command you just have to write java space dash version and you will know that whether java is installed in your system or not if it is installed it will give you the version of it if it is not installed it will throw an error okay so i hope this question also clear to you next question is explain about your internship project so guys anything that you are mentioning in your resume is a potential question in the interview if you are mentioning your projects your internships be ready for their the questions about what what you did in the entire internship what was your project was about so what was the feature you were developing okay these type of questions can be asked from you next and the last question of this interview of tcs ninja was what was your role in the internship so first you have to explain entire project to the interviewer and then you will have to explain what is your role in that particular uh, internship what feature you worked on what contribution you made during your two or three months of internship so these are all the technical questions that were asked in first tcs ninja interview now let's move towards the second tcs ninja interview wherein technical questions along with managerial questions and hr questions have been uh, asked okay if you are finding this video informative till here make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because because every like and subscribe will motivate me for making more such videos okay and do join this telegram group because it is dedicated for 2025 batch students the link of this telegram group and the notes that i have just discussed you will find in the description box do check them out so now let's move towards the second interview experience of this video okay so guys now moving towards the second interview experience and in that i will discuss the technical questions first okay so then the managerial and then the hr so first technical question was what is the object oriented programming so object oriented programming is a programming uh, that organizes code using objects which are instances of classes basically you will have to explain four principles of object oriented programming encapsulation inheritance polymorphism abstraction you should know each and every of these things in detail with the help of code and all their types also we have different types of inheritance different type of polymorphism for each and every type you should know their uh, definition and you should know their coding part as well okay i hope this question is clear to you very important question oops question in your interview next question is explain difference between stack and the queue so stack is a lifo approach that is last in first out uh, uh, <clears throat> and uh, queue is a fifo approach first in first out operations of stack are push and pop push means uh, moving an object inside the stack pop means moving the object outside the stack okay similarly in queue also n queue and d queue we have okay so i hope this question also clear to you okay let's move to the next technical question what are the different types of joins in sql different types of joins in sql are of like majorly or of five or six type inner join returns only matching rows from both, both tables left join return all rows from the left table and matching rows from the right table right join returns all the rows from the right table and matching rows from the left table full join returns all the rows from both tables with null where there is no match uh, then there is self join a table joining itself is known as self join i hope this question is clear to you next is can you explain recursion with an help of example see recursion is simple a function calling itself let's suppose with the help of example is a factorial of a number So you see here, you first write the base case that where that recursion ends. Then you will be add <coughs> calling the function itself with n minus one. So this is a factorial code with the help of recursion. You can learn this in detail, okay? But as of now, you can take screenshot if you want. I hope this question is also clear to you. These are all basic questions which are getting asked in TCS Ninja interviews. Again, I am telling you, if you want to prepare for TCS Ninja uh, TCS interviews, whether whether it is for any profile. then you can check out these important intro it subject notes wherein all these subjects are covered and for every subject 20 to 25 important questions with their answers are covered i'm not saying that every question in your interview will be repeated from these notes but these notes can be very much beneficial for you for your last minute preparation purpose okay links of these notes are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment you can check out the rating is also really good for these notes lot of students got help from these notes links are in the description box moving towards the next question what is the purpose of indexes in database it is to speed up the process okay there are different types of indexes primary index unique index composite index and full text index you should not know everything in detail but on the high level indexes are also a important topic for your interview now these were all the technical questions which were asked in this particular interview experience now let's move towards the managerial questions okay as you all know in tcs technical managerial and hr questions are asked now managerial questions are describe a time when you worked in a team okay 
like in colleges you have your minor and major projects this is the example you can give in this particular question next is how do you handle tight deadlines for every question you should give a positive answer to the interviewer he will be happy with your answer don't use any negative statements in your answer because they can they can cause your rejection okay always handle situation based questions managerial questions in a positive manner tell me about a challenging project you worked on okay anything you can tell how do you prioritize tasks okay first is like uh, what is the priority of a task by all these things you can prioritize the task next is describe a time you receive constructive criticism okay in colleges in college in certain exam with any teacher you have the conversation about these so all these things you can tell to the manager okay in this in this particular answer but the main crux of all these questions is to have a positive outlook for every question okay do not use any negative statements i hope these questions are clear to you next is hr questions why do you want to work at tcs what are your long term career goals how do you handle stress what are your key strengths why should we hire you all these are the questions which are common for all the companies not just for tcs now these the answer of these questions will depend person to person long term career goal what you have it will depend on you how do you handle stress any real time example you want to give it you can give what are your key strengths again every person has a different key strengths okay i hope all these questions are clear to you i will continue to make such videos on different different profiles for interviews if you want that for any specific role i should make more videos do write in the comment section if you have given your interviews please share those interview experiences with us in this telegram group only you can uh, you can share your interview experience or you can directly contact me on telegram okay and share your interview experience there okay so <clears throat> this was all for the video thank you for watching this video and again if you are interested in these notes the links are in the description box do check them out and do join this telegram group again it is dedicated for 2025 batch students please hit that like and subscribe button so that in future also if we make such videos you will get the notification for it thank you for watching this video